Turning now to another delay involving Obamacare. Fox News confirming the administration will delay the 2015 insurance enrollment period by one month. It will now begin in mid-November after the 2014 elections. The Department of Health and Human Services says the move is purely aimed at helping insurers adjust to working with the exchanges. And joining us now is the Republican Senator from Texas, Ted Cruz. Thanks for being with us. Patty Ann, it's good to be with you. Uh, so, uh, first of all, your reaction to this latest development? Well, it, it, it's not surprising they want to move as much as they can after the next election. They're doing everything they can to run away from Obamacare because the wheels are falling off. This, this thing isn't working. So, uh, obviously, you've been a vocal critic of Obamacare, uh, fought against it uh, on constitutional grounds, uh, tried to get it defunded. People are asking now, what is the Republican alternative? Well, the Republican alternative is empowering patients to make your own medical choices free of government interference. And, 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 I, and I think the best option is two steps. Number one, repealing Obamacare, because it's not working. It, it is millions of Americans have lost their health insurance because of Obamacare, have lost their jobs, it's not working. And at the same time, we would replace it. The most important thing to replace it with is allowing the interstate purchase of health insurance, which, which would create a nationwide marketplace that gives consumers more choices and lower prices. You know, if you want to expand access, you want to lower prices, you want to expand choices. What Obamacare does is it restricts choices and raise, raises prices, and, it, and it's not working. Right. All right, we want to move on now to uh, another historic move yesterday in the Senate. Mm -hmm. Majority Leader mm -hmm. Harry Reid invoking the so-called nuclear option, changing the rules of the Senate to make it harder mm -hmm. for the minority party to block certain presidential appointments. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, uh, one of the most immediate concerns that mm -hmm. people have about this is the D.C. Circuit Court. Sure, right sure. now, it's tied four to four with mm -hmm. three vacancies. Mm -hmm. right. uh, if those are filled by Democrats, it's uh, seven to four mm -hmm. in favor of uh, whatever mm -hmm. regulations this court controls, mm -hmm. uh, federal regulations. So, What we saw yesterday was, was a replay of actually what happened with Obamacare. It, it was a brazen, partisan abuse of power. And it was designed to do a couple of things. Number one, to change the topic. The Democrats want to talk about anything other than the millions of people who are hurting because of Obamacare. Mm -hmm. But number two, it, it, it replayed. You know, just as the president said, if you like your plan, you can keep it. Mm -hmm. Harry Reid has said repeatedly this year that he would under no circumstances use the nuclear option to change the Senate rules. And just like President Obama did, he broke his promise, he broke his word. But you put your finger on, on the immediate end goal here, which is they want to pack the court, and in particular pack the D.C. Circuit, to cover up the, 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 the president, and, and this is one of the most troubling aspects of this administration, has been lawless, has been picking and choosing which part of the statutes he'll follow, which parts he won't, and, and this administration does not want to be held to account for disregarding the law by an impartial judiciary, so they're trying to pack the courts with, with judges that they hope will just rubber stamp the president's refusal to follow the law. Mm. All right, we'll see what happens there. Uh, one last topic now. Mm. We want to touch on the Benghazi investigation. Mm. Earlier this week, you sent out a letter to your mm. fellow senators mm. asking them to back an independent investigation right. into uh, the terror attack on mm -hmm. our consulate mm. in uh, Libya. And it included, you already have 24 senators mm. supporting right. it, but you want the others to support mm. uh, the forming of this commission. And you included a statement from the family of Sean Smith, mm. one of the four mm. killed. Why is this so important? Well, it's been an, over a year now. Uh, four Americans were murdered in Benghazi, the first time a U.S. ambassador has been killed in the line of duty since 1979. And we all remember that debate between Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, where, where, where President Obama said, nobody cares more about getting to the bottom of what happened than I do. Well, over a year has passed, and it seems the word Benghazi has never again left the president's lips. We need to find out what happened. We need to find out, number one, why do we didn't respond to the serious security problems there on the ground, the escalating threats of al-Qaeda terrorism. Number two, we need to find out why we didn't send in military assets to save those Americans, why all of our assets apparently stayed where they were. And number three, we need to find out why it is that the administration deliberately, repeatedly edited the talking points, changed the message, and, and concocted this story about a silly internet video rather than acknowledge what was obvious at the time, what our military leaders have told us was obvious at the time, that this was al-Qaeda terrorism targeting the United States. And, and over a year later, we still have not 
apprehended and brought to justice the murderers who took the lives of those four brave Americans. We have to wrap, but very briefly, uh, where does the resolution stand now in terms of support? Well, the Democrats are blocking it. Okay. Uh, it is what the resolution calls for is a bipartisan joint select committee right. to get to the bottom, to get to the truth, to determine what happened okay. and what we can do differently to prevent that in Gotta the future. Got to leave it there. Senator Ted Cruz, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.